guys, Bridget Mayer here. I just wanna thank all of you for your comments on my social media around my last video on how to grow your email and your mailing list and use it for success. I have to say it's amazing how much you can grow your list, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, one year, when you put the time and the right focus in on how to do it. So I hope my tips that I gave you got you started in the right direction. Oh, and remember the part where I shared with you my process for finding contacts and I jumped online, I Googled interior designers, I found one that I didn't know, I didn't recognize the name, I went on her website, I found her contact, I reached out to her. So I wrote her an email and she wrote me back the very next day after I sent an introduction email and in her in PDFs to her to say that she was delighted to know about me to see the artworks I shared and to be added to my email and my mailing list for updates. I was pretty excited to add a new colleague to my list, so you can do that too. I also shared with you in the last video that I was a lot like you when I started my gallery business in 2001 at 26 years old and wanted to create a successful career in the arts. I was very broke, I was frustrated, and I was starting to think that all the people who told me I would not make any money saying the arts were correct. I actually would have panic attacks. And I remember one day in particular, I had a moment where I realized, wow, I'm going in reverse. My bank account is getting in the negative. And what if my parents were correct and I should not have majored in art and art history in college as I would be living a starving artist lifestyle. Really for the five years after college, I was working so hard, but this was my life. I remember watching all my friends that were attorneys and doing corporate jobs and accountants and doctors start to do well financially. They were getting raises, they were climbing the ranks in their companies, they were getting nice apartments. And here I was broke and floundering. And what has happened for me over the past 21 years has been incredible. And this is why I'm here sharing with you. I've sold art from $500 up to $5 million. I've been featured on Anderson Cooper 360 as a top young business owner. I've grown my email list and my client list from zero people to 100 people to now over 7,000 quality people during the course of my business. I have sold and curated millions of dollars of art programs. I own the building my gallery operates in, and I have other real estate, which is a source of revenue for me every single month. I've worked on museum exhibitions and with museums on purchasing art over many years now. I haven't counted how many acquisitions we've had. Um, I have another acquisition coming up with the Philadelphia Museum in a week. So it's ongoing, it's not just once in a while. We've had headline reviews and articles on my gallery over many years, and I calculate I've sold close to $30 million of art. I've made multiple six figures, and basically if there's anything you want or need to know about growing a successful art career, I'm the person you need to talk to and learn from. And I'm one of the few people that's sharing this information anyway with artists. Because of my passion in helping artists, I've now written three books. Um, I have an entire course curriculum that I wrote from scratch on how to be a successful artist called Art MBA. It's on my website, BridgetMare.com. And I now continue to teach on topics that I know artists need to learn to grow their careers. I've worked with thousands of artists now over 21 years. And I have to say, I'm someone who notices patterns and mindsets and creatives especially if they're not doing well, and then the other extreme, if they're doing incredibly well. Other end, I wanna know what's going on, what are they doing, what are they not doing? Both of these stand out to me. One thing I've come to find out is that many artists truly and humbly do not fully understand their role in running their art business and what they need to do each day to keep moving ahead. I call this acting like the CEO of your art company. And some of you are just sitting back. I'll let the gallery do it. I'll let this person do it. That's not acting like the CEO of your art company. Along with this, I found that artists don't know what the word leverage means and how to utilize this in their business. I will see an artist take one action, finish it, and then completely stop and not do anything else 
They'll stop their momentum and then they'll wonder why they're not moving ahead or why certain things are not happening or why other people seem to have things happen for them. So let me give you a few examples if you don't understand what I'm talking to. Let's say you send out 20 gallery packets and do not get one single response. You get frustrated, you give up, and you decide not to send out any more and take a break. Well, guess what? Maybe the 21st packet you sent out could have been the lucky gallery you work with. You need to leverage all the hard work you put in with putting together your materials, writing your letter, researching, um, putting your PDF together, getting your press art articles together, formatting your resume, and then you send out the next 20 packets. You don't stop until you have a gallery. That's what, use this leverage, keep leveraging your hard work to keep growing. Here's another example. I shared in my last video how I helped one of my coaching clients, an artist from San Francisco, write a press release that got her four reviews. She was very happy. She thought she was done. Check. I got the review. Check. The gallery's happy. But she wasn't done. I let her know that she needed to leverage her four press reviews, send them out to galleries she was interested in working with to see who might be interested in her work. Guess what? She did that. She created a press packet. She emailed it and mailed it out and she got a gallery interview. If she didn't leverage the reviews, she would not have gotten this interview that's turning into her second gallery representing her. Now, let's quickly talk about how to leverage your email and your mailing list. There are two major items that I recommend in my marketing segment in my Art MBA class. I have 12 videos in this section. One is to send out a seasonal newsletter to update, educate, inform, and entertain your list. I coach artists to do this four times a year, winter, spring, summer, and fall. The second thing I recommend is to send out a direct mail piece once a year to your mailing list. This could be a card, a printed catalog, or even we just did over the winter a tear sheet with new works that were holiday pieces. This literally puts your information directly in your client's hands. And if you do this consistently and in a quality way, you will grow your following and you will get sales. I've coached people around this. It's happened. It's happened for me and my business. It will happen for you. The other thing that I've noticed is that most artists do not add museum curators or curators to their list as many believe they won't want to hear from me. I'll be bothering them or these people are way out of my league. I'm this little artist. They're big museum curators. I like being proactive and I actively seek out and add new curators and museum curators to my list to keep them updated. By putting your name and your work in their inbox or their mailbox, they will start to remember you. And you never know what types of projects they're working on that might be a fit or what you send them that might impress them. I have developed many relationships this way over many years, and they never would have started out without me reaching out to them to initiate it in the first place. I suggest um, to, that you make adding museum curators and art curators a major priority in your research work and start following what they're working on, whether it's social media or their websites, so you can be, begin to cultivate these relationships, which are so important. I'm really excited to share with you my September 11th event, the Empowered Artist Workshop, as I will have a museum curator on the program and an arts curator on the program, and both have worked with hundreds of artists in their jobs. They will be sharing direct information with you in the audience on how you can communicate with museum curators and curators overall, and they will be sharing what to actually send to them. And you'll get a chance to ask some questions as well. So let me tell you about my event. I've been hinting at it the last couple of videos. Let me, let me tell you all about it. I have reached out to seven experts in my network who are at the top of what they do in the arts. They will be joining me on Saturday, September 11th, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I will be interviewing them 
and leading them through conversations on the information that I know that artists need to grow their careers. This is also information that I needed as a gallery dealer 21 years ago that I could not figure out. It took me a lot of conversations and mistakes to figure this out. You know, in the last two years with what has happened with COVID and in our arts culture, with things shutting down, things shifting, and who even knows what's coming this year with this whole Delta thing. One of the things I keep seeing is that artists keep getting left behind and floundering without a plan B. Some of you don't have a plan B, you don't have a plan A. So let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered, artists out there, how do you get more art and exhibition reviews and get art critics to pay attention to your art? How do you get museum shows and get into museum collections? How do you get selected for mural projects and turn your ideas into murals? How can you grow your community of followers and supporters into the millions with no gimmicks? What is marketing for artists and how can you do it more effectively to accomplish what you want in your career? What do you need to do in your studio business system to be more effective and organized, not lose stuff or contacts and just be organized? What are some of the easy things you can do to have more money in your life that people with money know? How do you set a financial goal for success? What makes a curator want to work with an artist? How do you connect with more curators and have success in this area? These are things that I've been now working on for 21 years. We've done all of them. The Empowered Artist Workshop will be covering all of these topics and more by doing a deep dive and giving you access to people in the arts who are normally too busy working on their projects and businesses to share this information directly with artists. You will have the chance to not only listen and learn about these topics, but to ask direct questions to these experts at the end of each session, I'll be doing a Q&A. The workshop is going to give you ideas to implement this entire year as we head into another possible year of craziness and uncertainty in our culture and our futures. The time is now to learn what you don't know and who you don't know and be proactive to create and define your art career. Stop sitting back, go out there, jump in with me, know these people, hear what they're gonna tell you on how to do what you're trying to do. This live event will be entirely focused on how to grow your art career, get public attention and make more money. It will empower you to have an incredible year starting this fall. It's going to include nine hours of training, a printed workbook, actually it's a workbook PDF that you can print. You'll be getting an email PDF and you'll have the chance to ask me and other VIP people in the art world direct questions during the q and I'm gonna also have a private group coaching session for people that jump into that package around the entire event. If you are attending this virtual event, you'll have the chance to ask a direct question. And like I just said, I'm also gonna be offering a 90 minute free coaching session for any attendee that selects that package where you'll have another chance to ask questions and get them answered. Uh, all of my panelists and myself are gonna be covering all the ways you can and need to grow your career and how to do it. You're gonna have a full checklist of items and knowledge on how to get started immediately. There are a limited number of seats available and the live link for the tickets will be in two days. It'll be live on Wednesday, September 1st. The tickets will be on a first come, first serve basis. I'm gonna be sending you an email once the event is live and open where you can purchase your tickets on September 1st. Um, there's gonna be three ticket prices and let me just quickly review them here so you can get ready to attend and decide how you want to attend. The first tier is simply a ticket to attend the all day event, September 11th, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and just be there that day. That cost is 125 bucks. You're gonna get a workbook PDF that goes along with it. So that's package one. Tier two, package two, is the all day event ticket where you're there live. 
the workbook PDF, and you're gonna get the recording of the entire event the week following, where you can keep watching it again and again. And I've done this with events. It's awesome to be able to come back to it and say, what did they say? And then a month from now, what did she say? This ticket cost is 150 bucks. And then the last tier, which is tier three, it's the VIP ticket. It's everything the first two, the all day event, the recorded event, the workbook PDF. And you're also gonna get invited into a 90 minute private group coaching session to continue to ask questions and get them answered. And this ticket cost is $200. So um, if you have questions you already know you wanna ask, this might be for you. Um, you know, I'm huge in over delivering what people get when they do anything with me. Um, and I have had conversations with all these experts and I can tell you, here is exactly what you're gonna learn in this seminar. Um, you're gonna learn how to attract attention from arts writers to get your shows and projects written about. You're gonna learn what do artists do that repel press and they do stuff that people say, I don't wanna write about them, I don't wanna work with them. What do artists do that attract press? Why having press and having your work written about is a crucial part of building a career in the arts. And then what do you need to give arts writers to get them to write about your work in a successful way? And learn about the story of the artist who utilized getting her own press during an exhibition to attract sales and a new gallery interest. And that's all from me and Roberta Fallon, who's the head writer for Art Blog. She's been a writer for over 40 years for major publications. She's gonna talk about all this with me. You'll have a chance to ask her questions. You're also gonna learn how artists can approach museums, museum curators to interest them in exhibitions and adding their work into museum collections, how to approach a museum in a professional way and not make the wrong move, why it is important to exhibit in museums and generate those opportunities, and then how artists can get their work purchased for a museum collection. And that is from Lauren Nye, who's the head curator of the Susquehanna Museum of Art. She's gonna talk about this with me. The next thing we're gonna learn is how an artist can expand their portfolio to do mural projects, what mural curators and mural programs like the Mural Arts Program look for to decide if an artist is right for a mural projects, and how mural projects expand your reach nationally and create more financial opportunities, and then also how an artist can turn an idea into a mural. And then finally, what are the top elements to have a, in a portfolio to get a mural project? And that's by Jane Golden, who's the head of mural arts program in Philadelphia. Jane's been working with artists now for over 40 years. She's gonna tell you exactly what she looks for and how to do it. Um, next, you're gonna learn about how to go from no one knowing about you and your art to generating 1 million followers and growing your email list. You're gonna learn how to create value in the marketplace where people wanna know what you have to say and are excited to hear from you. That's from Erica Hess, who is an artist and who started the podcast, I Like Your Work podcast. She's an incredible person. She's gonna share how she's built her network. Um, I'm also gonna be teaching a marketing segment on how you can be unique in the marketplace how you can share your story for success and what is marketing for artists. Um, the other thing we're gonna cover is what is a CRM and why you need one if you don't have one. If you have one, you're gonna learn how to utilize it better. Um, and then the other topic around that is how you can create more success and freedom in your career through being organized. And then success stories from artists using CRMs. And that is from Justin Anthony, who's the head of Artwork Archive. He's gonna be talking all about this and he's built this software from the ground up. It's amazing. The next is how can an artist connect with curators to find hidden opportunities? How can artists work with a curator on commission-based work? And how artists can work with curators on grant-based work? What curators look for when deciding to work with artists on projects? 
And that is from Ryan Strang Greenberg, who is a curator who does projects all around the United States. He's gonna share with you. You'll get a chance to ask him questions. And then finally, what are the things you need to know about money? What do people do to blow money in their life? What are easy money solutions? How you can set your first financial goal? And that's by Thomas Corley, who's written several, I think seven books on finance. I love him because he's an accountant, a CPA. He keeps it simple and he is going to give you some great ideas on how to have more money in your life and how to deal with your money. So this event is for people like you who want to be a thriving artist and take charge of your life and your career. So don't hesitate. When the link comes out in two days, sign up. Some of you who are what I call early adapters are going to jump in, you're going to sign up immediately, and you're going to have this energy and momentum going into the event. Some of you will literally wait to the last hour and the last day to sign up. Some of you will actually miss it. I'll be getting emails. I missed the deadline. Just know that if this is you, this is how you show up in your life. You're procrastinating on your goals and your dreams. You have this habit of procrastination, and this is how you handle everything in your career. So I work with a lot of artists like that. Um, these interviews that I'm gonna be having with everyone are real, they're direct, they're to the point conversations. I don't like wasting my time or money. These are all paid speakers, so I'm not wasting their time and money. And I just wanna make sure that everyone's getting something useful from every interview. So what would it be worth for you to be there live with these top creative minds who have thriving businesses themselves, who wanna share their tools and help you meet your goals. For me, it's worth a lot, which is why I'm not only the host and producing this event, but I'm super excited to learn and grow too through all of this information. I always learn something new when I'm interviewing people and discussing with them. And these people normally are not available. Um, it's hard to even get them on a phone. So. Some of you are saying, well, I could just talk to them directly. Well, it's hard to get them on the phone, even for me. So some of you are gonna have a few objections. Some of you might say, I can't make the entire event for that day. I can only attend a few sessions. No worries. This is why you have a ticket option where you get to buy the recorded version and the option where um, you can buy the recorded version and get invited into the private 90 minute group coaching to get additional questions answered. So let's say you wanted to meet with Jane Golden. You had something that day where you couldn't miss it. You bought the recording, you watched it, and then you had a question for her. You want to be in that 90 minute group coaching session. So, and some of you are going to ask, well, why is there a cost to attend? So all of these events have costs associated with them. All of these speakers are getting paid to work with me to help you. So if you're the artist that complains that things should be free for artists, and this is what I've learned, you're paying directly into the starving artist mindset where you believe artists should not have to spend money or get everything for free. I have the belief that anything of value, whether it's a college education, books, coaching, mentorship, should be paid for and you get what you put into things. So I have personally spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in my personal journey growing my business that has resulted in me creating opportunities and money for lots of artists around me. So I really encourage you to start to think differently and to attract what you want. If you want more money, Invest in yourself, treat yourself with the respect and investment that you deserve and start investing in people around you. This is an event to invest in. Um, it's also important to learn things that are not readily available. So that's huge. Your ticket price is nothing compared to the information you will receive. So next I will send you an email when the card is live to buy your ticket to the event. And I really am excited to see all of you motivated artists on the other side to sit in the room with me with our amazing guests. So if you have other questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but we're super excited about this. My speakers are excited. 
Um, and we always have magical things come out of these events. So I hope that you will join me for the Empowered Artist Workshop, September 11th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This event will be live. There'll be a Q&A at the end. I'm also recording it, so you can buy the recording as part of your ticket price. You can have that forever to review. You'll be getting a PDF workbook for the event. And then if you buy that option, you'll also be getting a 90 minute free group coaching session with me where you can ask additional questions and get them answered. Join me with Roberta Fallon, Laura Nye, Jane Golden, Erica Hess, Justin Anthony, Ryan Strang Greenberg, and Thomas Corley. I hope to see you on the other side. Have a great day and keep working hard on your art career. Take care.